Hello friends, this video on statistics part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The following table gives the distribution of the students in two sections. There are two sections A and B and the marks and the frequency is given. The marks is in the continuous class and 10, each class has same size. 10 minus 0 is 10, 20 minus 10 is 10, 30 minus 20 is 10, 40 minus 30 is 10, 50 minus 30 is 10. All same size, so we don't have to manipulate the frequency. So we have to create two different frequency polygons for this in the same graph. So there are two ways of creating frequency polygon. One is you create the histogram, join the midpoints, or easier way is find the class size, not size. Yeah, you find the midpoint. So for this, the midpoint will be how much? It will be 0 plus 10 by 2, that is 5. 10 plus 20 by 2, 15. 20 plus 30 by 2, 25, 30 plus 40 by 2, 35, 40 plus 50 by 2, 45. So we got the midpoints of the class. Now we'll plot the points. So these are the variable. So it will be on the x. These are the values, so it will be on the y. So on x and y, x we have this point 5, 10 till 50, 5 I have taken because 45 is required. I just took the uh, midpoint on the next class as well, right? So it starts from 555 and this maximum value I see is well 19, so I have taken this range. So let's plot this point, 53, this is 53, then 515, 9, let's draw 59, then 25, 17, 25, 17, start. Then 35, 12, let's draw 35, 12, this is 35, 12. Let's draw 45, 9, 45, 9 is done. So I've plotted all the points in red and I've joined them. So this is my frequency polygon for section A. Okay. Let's draw for this uh, other section B. So 5, 5. And what I've done is I've just, I'm just joining this point with this point. Right? Why? Because the class Prior to this and after this, I'm just drawing, joining the point. Not required, but it's good to join to that you get a full area. Let's draw a section B. Let's draw 5, 5 in green. Right? Then we'll draw 5, 19, 15, 19, 15, 19 in green. And I'll draw 25, 15 in green. This is if you see, this is 25, this is 15. Next, I'll draw 35, 10. So if you see, this is 35, this is 10. Next, I have to draw 45, 1. This is 45, this is what I have drawn in green. And let me join these points. Also, let me join these points. So, this is for section B and this is for section A. Okay, so, I have represented the marks of these class in sec using frequency polygon, section A and section B. The runs scored by two teams A and B on the first 60 ball in a cricket match are given. And uh, we have to represent this data using the frequency polygon. Okay, so 1 to 6 ball, 2 runs, 7 to 12 ball, 1 to 14 A, and similarly 14 B. So these are my variable and these are my values. And it's a continuous, it's non-continuous class. You see 6, 7, 12, 13, non-continuous class. Doesn't matter, I have to create frequency polygon. So I have to just find the class midpoint. Right? So I do that first. So midpoint, this will become 6 plus 1. So let's draw the mid, uh, find the midpoint. 6 plus 1, 7 by 2, this is 3.5. 17 plus 2, 19 by 2, that is 9.5. So 13 plus 18 by 2, 31 by 2, that is 15.5. Similarly, I'll find the midpoint for all. It's right? so 19 uh, plus 24, for 43. 43 by 2 is 21.5. Similarly, 25 plus 30 is 55. 55 by 2 is 27.5. 31 plus 36 is what? 67. 67 by 2 is 33.5. 37 plus 42 is what? 79. 79 by 2 is 39.5. 42 
43 plus 48 by 2, that is 45, 45, 49 plus 54, that is what? 103 by 2, that is 51.5. 55 and 60 is what? 115 by 2, that is 57 by 3 on the midpoint of the class. Since this is a variable, this is a value, so I put the variable here. Since the variable is in the range 3.5 to 57.5, I have made the range to 60 number of balls. This is variable. And the values I see is the range maximum is 10. So I have put till 10. Okay, let's plot the values. First is 35, 3.5 and 2. Right? X is 2, Y is 3. Point. X is 3.5, somewhere here. And Y is 2. We have to plot this point. This is done. Similarly, 9.5 and 1. This is X is 9.5, Y is 1. Plot this point also. 15.5 and 8. X is 15.5, somewhere here, it is 8, this is done. 21.5 and 9, so 21.5 somewhere here and 9 somewhere here, this is done. 27.5 and 4, 27.5 somewhere here and 4 somewhere here. Similarly, 33.5 and 5, 33.5 somewhere here, 5 somewhere here. Similarly, 39.5 and 6, 39.5 somewhere here and 6. Similarly, 45.5 and 10, 45.5 somewhere here and then 10. And then 51.5 and 6, 51.5 somewhere here and 6. And then 57.5 and 2, 57.5 somewhere here and 2. Now you plot the point, now you join these points. And what you get is the frequency quality. Right. So, I have not drawn the frequency polygon for team B. You can do this. You can just plot 3.5 and 5, somewhere in green, and then 9.5 and 6. You plot, and then you get one more frequency polygon for team B. A random survey of the number of children of various age group playing in the park was found. 1 to 2 kids, 5, 2 to 3. 3, 3 to 5, 6, 5 to 7, 12, 7 to 10, 9, 10 to 15, 10, and 15 to 17 is 4 to draw a histogram. You see, the class width is not the same. If you see in this case, 2 to 1 width is 1. Okay. 2 to 3 also width is 1. 3 to 5 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 10 minus 7 is 3. 15 minus 10 is 5. 17 minus Width is not the same for all, it's different. And thus we have to find the new frequency. Okay. So we know that frequency new is equal to old frequency into minimum class size by current class size. The minimum class size here is what? 1. Let's put the value. So this becomes 5 into medium class size is 1 by current is 1. 3 into medium class size is 1 by current 1. 6 into medium class size is 1, current size is 2. 12 into medium class size is 1, current class is 2. 9 into medium class size is 1, current is 3. 10 into medium class size is 1, current size is 5. 4 into medium class size is 1, current is Find the value, this is 5, this is 3, this is 3, this is 6, this is 3, this is 2, and this is 2. So we got the values. So if you see the frequencies are of the range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and these are my variable. So I'll plot a graph. The variables will be on the x-axis. That is the h, and this is the value. That is the kid count. So kid count I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at the max. So I have put the 6 values and this I have till 17. So now what I will do is for age 1 to 2, I will draw a graph, a bar of length 5. So 1, 2, 5, 5. 
2 to 3 then 3 similarly 3 to 5 length 3 3 to 5 length 3 similarly 5 to 7 length 6 5 to 7 length 6 7 to 10 length 3 7 to 10 length 3 then 10 to 15 10 to 15 length 2 then 15 to 17 length 2 10 to 17 length 2 please note we will take the new frequency which we got not the kids count given okay, because the class size were all different so we have to actually recalculate the frequency so with that we could actually calculate the histogram pretty easily so the catch in this case was the class width was not same since the class width was not same we have to get the new frequency using formula the old frequency into minimum class size by the current class size please remember this formula and we have explained the logic behind this formula also if we have doubt watch my previous video in the same chapter where we explain this Formula. Let's take one last numerical on the graphical representation of data. 100 surnames were randomly picked from the local telephone directory and the frequency distribution of the letters in the alphabet in the surname was found as follows. So letter count 1 to 4, 6. Similarly, 4 to 6, 30. 6 to 8, 4. 8 to 12 is 16 and 12 to 80 is 4. Right? So we have to draw the histogram. Let's see the class size. 4 minus 1 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, 12 minus 8 is 4, 12 minus 20 minus 12 is 8. Or oh, not same, right? So let's write here. Size. This is 4 minus 1 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2, uh, 12 minus 8 is 4, and 20 minus 12 is 8. This is the class size. This is the surname count. We have to actually calculate the new frequency as well. Okay, so what is the minimum value of frequency? That is 2. So we know that new frequency, we know that frequency new is equal to old frequency into minimum class size by current class size and we name class size in this case is 2 so let's put the value this will become 6 into minimum class size is what 2 by 3 this will become 30 into minimum class size 2 current class size 2 44 minimum class size 2 current class size 2 16 minimum class size 2 current class size 4 4, four minimum class size 2 current class size 8 solve it this becomes 4 this is 30 this is 44 this becomes 8 and this is 1 so we have to plot this, this is the variable and this is my value now. So variable is the range 1 to 20 and value is uh, almost 1 to 45. So I have drawn a variable here, this is letter count and this is, uh, this is surname count, this is the value. So value of the range 1 to 44, so I have taken till 50 and variable or uh, 1 to 20 so I have taken this range. So now 1 to 4 I will draw a bar graph graph bar of height 4 this is 4. So let's do this 1 to 4 height 4. Similarly 4 to 6 height 30 4 to 6 height 30. Similarly next is 6 to 8 height 44 6 to 8 height 44 so we will not use this so let's cancel this. There's some confused. 6 to 8, height 44. Then 8 to 12, height 8. 8 to 12, height 8. This is height 8, almost 8. And then 12 to 20, height 1. 12 to 20, height 1. So this is the histogram for this particular data. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also 
get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.